Hello, and welcome to this screencast. Um, I'm going to just walk through briefly um, some fundamental uh, user management stuff. Um, I'm not quite sure how uh, you used to do this on the old site or what your favorite method was, but um, the way that makes sense to me from a Drupal administration perspective is to uh, use this Drupal menu here at the top, the admin menu that you have if you're logged in as an admin user, and select user management users, and you can either add a new user here, and that's a way to go ahead and uh, fill out really all the account information for uh, a new user. Um, typically this would be done by uh, somebody else um, on the site, you know, if they came and, and registered. But uh, just for test purposes, why don't we um, create a quick test user here? And I'm just going to uh, put in all my bogus information. Um, and oh, that's just complaining as I put in test for the password because uh, it's not very secure, but. That's fine. Um, and just so that we can manage this user in a, in a subsequent example here, I'm going to put its status to blocked because that's how it'll show up when somebody just registers at the site. This is where you could give someone blogging privileges, content or system administration privileges, but um, let's not do that for now. Let's just say they're going to be a plain old authenticated user. And first name, Juliet. Uh, Juliet? doesn't matter, last name Armstrong, institution, my company is OpenEscent, okay, interests, uh, making screencasts, nothing finer, okay, and I'm an other, I don't want to subscribe to the newsletters, my language is English, and I am also an other, and let's go ahead and create this new account. Okay, so we've created Juliet Test here. So now, if you were just to go back to uh, the site here, um, you would notice uh, under user management we had at used that facility to add a new user, which is registering someone for them. Um, actually, another thing that I should point out to you there is that if you go ahead and uh, fill out an account uh, for someone um, and they don't come to the site to register, but it's kind of like you're doing this for them, you could also choose to check notify user of new account. So we just went through and we filled all this out just now for the Juliet Test 2 user that we just created. But um, you could also notify your user of their new account if you were in, for some reason, in this sort of paternalistic uh, role of filling out all their account details for them. I don't suspect you'll be ever doing that, but it's nice to know that the option is there. Um, so yes, I'm just going to navigate back to the home page there by clicking on the linear icon. So user management, users, and then we can list here. And this is similar to listing all our content, which I've probably demonstrated uh, through featured member, featured project, and deadline content type screencasts. Uh, and there the most uh, recently added user always appears first. Most recently added users appear here. And Juliet Test 2 is here. We see that she is blocked. And here you can just put a tick beside her and you can unblock the selected users. If there were 10 of them here, you could tick, 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 tick them all and update. And now Juliet Test is active and she has all the um, authenticated user privileges. She can log in to the site. Now, um, the other thing you can do is, is click through Juliet and you can edit her here. Uh, you've got access to all of her account details here. You can uh, grant her blogging privileges, so let's just do that. Let's save. And if we go back into user management users list now, you'd see that she's active and now she's also a blogger. Fantastic. Okay, and if you wanted to grant her system administration privileges, just go down here, 
grant her system administration privileges. You know what? It doesn't even matter if she's a blogger because she can blog if she's a system administrator. So there. And she's a system administrator now. Fantastic. So that's how, uh, you know, basic user um, account management works here. Um, and that's through the Drupal admin menu up here. Another way to um, access Drupal admin functions, uh, I don't know if this was in the uh, original edclick documentation, but you can just go up to the top here and I've got my development domain here, but uh, if you had that, you'll have thenier.ca here. And just add a slash admin. Press enter. If you're logged in, you'll get this um, administration area here. Okay. And uh, user management is over here on the side. And you can manage users here. And that's another way to get to this listing, if you prefer that, or if that was sort of more the mode in which you accessed this information in the past. Okay, um, I guess that concludes um, this portion of uh, this ongoing uh, administrator screencasts. Thanks for listening.